Good morning guys, welcome to Thursday. So I wanted to tell you guys my plans for Penny and I, because I just figured it out. <laughs> well not my plans, I've already told you kind of what my plans are. But, uh oh, running out of cookies. I need to get horse cookies today. That's also one of my plans. Sam, remind me, I need horse cookies today. So basically, the last video I did of Penny and I was me trying to get her to gate in the arena. And some of you guys said that it was too small. Penny has gated in that arena so many times. Chino's jumped in that arena and he's huge. All of our horses have jumped in that arena. <laughs> and I don't think that's the, I mean, ideally it'd be bigger, but I think she can still do it. Well, hello. <laughs> I saw you a minute ago in the back of the barn. Wow, you are messy. Hi. So, um, I gotta find my halter. I should keep my stuff all together. So much easier. But basically, like, anyway, when I rode a penny and tried to get her to gate, I, I found my lead rope. And my halter. When I tried to gate penny, in the arena, I was unsuccessful for a couple of different reasons. The biggest one that I feel is that she didn't want to and she was resisting. And I can tell that she's resisting because um, when I, when I too much, she, <laughs> she just pinned her ears. She pins her ears, like she doesn't want to do it. And I was squeezing and squeezing and squeezing and Penny does not like to be squeezed that much. And so I know she was just resisting. We. Some people will say, you can't tell if she has ulcers, Laura, without a scope, but she doesn't really have any symptoms of an ulcer. And we give her an ulcer supplement that is a preventative and cures ulcers, which has proven to be amazing to us in the past. And also, we have had horses with ulcers before, and she does not present like that at all. She's a kind of a grouchier mare, and she is a mare and likes to be in charge. And if she doesn't want to do something, she doesn't want to do it. Get on with today's video. Today is Thursday and we have lots of things to do today, but I'm taking a few minutes out for me and Penny uh, to try again. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I've been doing like a, I've been doing a schedule with Penny. One where sometimes we do groundwork and then we do riding. I don't just ride all the time. I think it's really been working for us because with the groundwork, I'm able to teach her to pay attention to me and she enjoys it. And that translates into like when I try and ride her. But also, you guys should know, like we are not taught this in Canada in English lessons. Like. If we were to just take, well, in Ontario, where we live, in this general area, if you were going to take lessons, it would only just be riding lessons, and it's just basic stuff, like you walk your pony or your horse into the barn, and then you return it to the field after, and you learn how to groom it and wash tack. So that's all you learn. You don't learn, like, throughout your course of lessons, we've learned things like, how to make your horse listen if it doesn't listen by like do it or not. If your horse won't walk up to the to the barn for lessons because it's saying no and it's being stubborn, you have to either figure it out or you don't get to ride kind of thing. Like there's no real training of horsemanship. There's no real training of stable management. There's none of that. Like we've had to learn that through our trainers helping us when we got horses and it's been like such an amazing support, but horses go so far beyond that. Groundwork is such a huge step and a huge part and we're not taught that in Ontario. So this is like a whole new way for Penny and I that we've never learned before, a whole new journey. So I wanted to tell you guys that something that happened to us the other day that made me really happy and really proud. Sometimes with like all the hate that happens in social media, although it's been a lot better lately, um, Sometimes you get lost in all the negativity and all the n negative comments and it's hard for you to see like all the good things that have happened and all the good things you've accomplished and done. And people tend to, even us, focus on the negative and it's hard, especially when it's animals and kids involved, not to do that. But every once in a while something will happen and make me sit back and realize like all the amazing that we've done, like our relationships with our horses and We've come really far in a lot of different ways. We're not perfect and we're never gonna be perfect, but we have done so much good. And our farrier was here the other day and the one that comes to our house is different than the one that does the boy. 
and she was here and she was telling me the story about she has one place that she goes and the lady just leaves the money in the barn and the horses in their stalls and she just does them because she knows the horses she knows the people really well and so I was joking and I said well if I knew you offered that service we would just do that and we wouldn't have to freeze our butts all the time because we're always in the barn with her but we like to do that and she laughed and she said if you ever want to do that or you ever need to do that I would do that for you because I know you guys and I know your horses and your horses are all well behaved and easy to manage and I felt really happy about that because that's from us like even if your horse has learned certain things it can unlearn them and it can unlearn them and develop bad habits depending on how you do things and so we did that you guys comment below something that you're really proud about that you did with your horse or your dog even that makes you realize that you have done some good in your animal's life i saw a tiktok when it's like when you get a christmas card full of money and you try and pretend money isn't there and read, start, re continue to read the card, and all the money drops on the table. But really, you just want to pay attention to the money, right? Like, who cares about the no, card? It's a normal struggle because there's some one where it's like he had like a million dollars falling out of the envelope, and he's like, "Thank you, Grandma." <laughs> yeah, that's so funny. It's so <laughs> true. Who cares about the card when it's full of it's money? All, all right, so. Whoa. It's all twenty cents. So, I really want to ride outside. I don't know if I can because I don't know about the weather. It's really icy. I checked the arena. Oops. I checked the arena out there and there's like snow over top of it, but the ground But the ground is hard underneath and there's not like a nice covering of snow. So I don't know. What should I do? Like the grass is nice. No. So there's no given... grass in the arena. I know. So I could like ride her around the property would be safer. How many oh. times till one of my right? fingers cracks? Not. Let's well, see how many times my fingers cracks. Not doing it. Yeah, I don't do that. Yeah, it's gross. I can feel one. I do that. I think it's fun. All right. So where should I should ride? I it? No, indoor because it's really icy. I see. Outside. Yeah. Yeah. Because I was walking across the. I just and do I was this until it cracks. And I was sliding, and I got on the pavement thing right there. Yeah. And I slipped. Yeah. I was waiting so, to hear you fall. I was already yeah. starting to laugh. Yeah, like it's slippery outside the door. I went down to the arena and I walked around it, and it's like the ground is the the sand is rock hard, and there's spots with like a light covering the of sand snow. Sand is rock hard. Then don't ride out there. Yeah, I don't think there's enough. Uh, yeah. Oh, I thought right, it was still go. a grass arena. I don't think there's enough snow Oops. on top of the on top of the sand, which sucks because I really want to ride out there. I really like Penny and I like that the best. All right, so this is going to be our first ever episode on wrangling the ponies outside. Sophie, I have Penny in here. You guys are going to have to do it. Lift it up, Gabby. It works better. No. All right, so Sophie got one. <laughs> Come here. There's always one pony that doesn't listen. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Grab her blanket. Grab her blanket. That's how I do it. No. Oh. <laughs> Very good job, Gabby. Hey. Very good job, Sophie. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you think this is all about treats? All right, so last time I rode Penny, I also extra tighten the cinch and I think that was a contributing factor as well okay settle down because you're scaring my horse stop pinning your ears she's not pinning her ears she's listening what part of that is listening that is definitely that no oh I see she has a soft eye hey, I'll be your friend Gabby if you have food okay. No, I just touch her nose. Stop. Stop pinning your ears. <laughs> Five. One, two, three. Well, girl, I'm yeah. too short for this. My horse looks like he wants to die whenever I do that. He probably does. He's mad. Yeah, because I'm too good at holding down the stirrup. Did she try and buck? Mm -hmm. All I heard was, uh-oh, she's going to buck. Hey, you use I'm your not corners. moving, so you gotta go around me. I'm not moving either. I moved. 
Oh, she's got bread. Right. That's because she wants Sophie's treat. Don't buy me. Buy Gabby. She's mad. Boo hoo. She is mad. Poor baby. Poor baby. Remember when I wrote her? I think I made her mad. You have hair in your eye. She's remembering. I have eye oh, in my hair. Mind. It's just a light from something. She's remembering that I wanted her to do that. <laughs> Why did she try and buck you off? Did she try and buck me off? Hey! No. Good night. <laughs> she comes to you. There's a problem. There's a problem. Uh -oh. She actually is just running to Sophie because Sophie is <laughs> so many TikToks and she's mad. TikToks. <laughs> On, Me Penny. pronouncing Tuesday and Thursday. You video, I'll run and see if Penny follows me. Oh my god, this could be bad. Doesn't look like it. Should be like short there. <laughs> <laughs> I missed it. I missed it. I was filming Sophie. Do it again. Sophie is only five foot four. Yeah, so, anyways. I didn't catch it. You didn't, didn't catch it? Did I you? was filming Sophia running. Did you see her buck, though? No. Oh. I didn't, I didn't catch the first time she bucked. Yeah, so I'm going to keep riding some just to practice on me and not moving too fast. <laughs> but also, you guys should know the first five minutes, which she I'm... She me now. I'm going to buy, like, 50 million packs of tic No, because this is the problem. She wants to just come to Sophie and stand beside Sophie because Sophie's giving her tic tacs. And I have done treat training with Penny from the beginning and it's worked fabulously with her. But today, <laughs> she just wants the Tic Tacs. All right, so we actually found a new tech store. We actually found like a whole new tech store. It's oh, new. It's new. Hey, there's a store called Town and Country Liquidators. We should go in there. <gasps> what? We should, Town and Country Liquidators. Anyways, there's this new store and it's a tech store and it's in our area. In a garage. It's in a garage. Uh oh. Anyways, we're gonna go in. We brought Kaylee along. Can you guys see Kaylee? We're gonna go in and see what kind of stuff they have. This is like a whole new tech store, but it's actually a garage. Like it's in a garage. Like what the heck is this? It's called Equestrian Roots. Equestrian Roots. So the grain that I feed Chino is really hard to get. And when we looked on the website for this place, they actually sell the grain. So we're going to go and see if they sell it here. So this is it, Equestrian Roots Feed and Supply yeah, Store. Go Gotta go through the... So this is what we feed our horses. This is what we used to feed our horses, but I think this is what I need. Okay, see I like, I feed mine here at the same time as you perform Oh, okay. Oh, 
Okay, so yeah. So it's less sugar, but it has high fat. Like it's less sugar than a regular. And those are cute. I like the boots. You want that for Finn? It's cold. Oh, it's cool. Oh, look at it. It says Gray. It says Gur Rye, I know. I thought it said Gray Finn on it. I was going to say, like, that's a sign. But look at these. These are cute. They're winter, winter riding boots. And they have like a little dressing room that's super cute. And then some blankets. I like these too. Like I've been thinking about getting brown boots. What about that? You totally called it. Because I said it. What, you don't like it? She reached down and walks in. Mom's going to like these. Yeah, I do like them. Do you like this plain brown? Like my saddle's brown. I actually do like the plain brown. And it has a side. It does up at the side. That's, oh, except for that, that might be hard on the horse. That's not the side that the horse goes on. Oh, wow. Good point, Gabby. You're smarter than me. Are you just embarrassed by me? And I like these ones too. Loretta footwear. Super cute. I like these though because they have that. Like they go up like a regular horse riding boot. Oh, that, that's adorable. That would fit you, Kaylee. That's adorable. You know what? It's Jacob's. It's Jack's birthday. Yeah, that's cute. We should get that this year. We have those. They're awful. They just break. They're good for butt flag. But wait, have you seen these kind of breeches before? This brand? The Fits? They're they called the Fits? Fits. They're cute. They. That's the brand of show jacket I have. Oh. I really like them. Yeah, and your. Yeah, yeah, that's cute. They're actually really cute. They're cute, but they're thin. They're not like warm though. I need thick pants right now. I don't have any wood already. These ones are thick. These are not very thick. These are cute, winter's actually. Almost. Yeah, winter's almost over. Let's just start buying for. It was hilarious. It, it was, was hilarious. Wasn't even embarrassing. It was just embarrassing for me because the zipper of a boot I was looking at, I really like those boots. I couldn't find out how much they were, but I, the zipper, zipper was on the outside. The zipper was on the outside. So you know how like with your riding boots, the zipper's on the back. I noticed right away that the zipper was on like the side of the boot. And then I didn't realize like that it wasn't on the inside of the boot, it was on the outside of the boot. Yeah, so apparently I'm dumb. Anyway, that was awesome. I wanted to feed our horses two things that I couldn't get. I couldn't get like the grain that I wanted for Chino. I told you guys I'm gonna make a video about all the stuff we're doing for Chino. But I don't have all the stuff we need yet because I can't get some of it. Some of it's really hard. I have stuff I'm gonna get for his feet. So maybe that'll be a different video. But we changed his food and they actually had it there. Like, so good. I'm so glad we went there. It worked out really well. Don't you know that you're beautiful?